Hi everyone, uh, this is Simon from the Ski Exchange. Today I want to demonstrate how we mount some bindings onto skis. So today we've got a set of Salo and S-Lab shift bindings. I'm going to mount them onto some Black Crow Captis skis. Before we drill the skis, we need to get a bit of information. So on a lot of uh, manufacturer skis, it will actually have the drill size that we need. On the uh, Black Crows, it's marked on here. So it says a diameter of 3.5 millimeters and a length of 9.5. So that helps with our drill bit selection. We also need a drilling template here or a jig. Uh, this helps guide the holes in nice and straight. Obviously the ski, the boots that we're going to be mounting, and then the bindings. So what I'm going to do now is get it all set up for us. The ski boot comes with a centre point marked in the middle of the sole. Likewise with the ski, so the aim is when we draw the bindings is to line these two bits up. Now this isn't like a freestyle ski where we're centre mounting, this is a regular mount. So centre point of the boot wants to line up with the centre point of the ski. This is aided using the drilling jig which also has a centre point. So what I'm going to do now is place this over the ski to give us a basic idea. So I'm just going to get this roughly into position and then pop the boot on. The jig's now roughly in place. Now introduce the boot. And that's a nice snug fit in the jig. So what we're aiming now is the centre of the boot, the centre of the jig and the centre of the ski to line up. So we'll have a quick double check before we start drilling. So we've got the centre arrow of the ski the centre of the jig and the centre of the boot now in one continuous line so we know the boots and the binding is going to be in the right place. Before we drill we're going to go through a couple of bits so the drilling template is in position we know all the forward pressures are correct. Um, what we have on the toe piece are five holes so the first hole is a centre locking screw goes in there then we have four others and then on the heel we have four holes here. So uh, first of all we're going to drill this, lock this screw in, get the toe piece in place and then likewise with the heel. So stand back and watch. Luckily for us, the drill bits we use have got a stopper, so we shouldn't be able to drill straight through the ski. So I'm gonna get started. Before we start mounting the bindings, I'm just gonna clean any debris that's left on top of the ski, just using a standing knife blade. Okay, we use a, a wood glue before we start mounting the bindings. I like to mount screw mount bindings by hand. You can use an electric screwdriver. Just beware not to go too fast and don't use a too heavy torque. Otherwise you have a chance of splitting the thread. So first of all, I'm gonna put the locking screw in. So just locate this here, get it into position, start screwing down. Now I've been doing bindings now for nearly 30 years. So you get to kind of know the right feeling, but if you use an electric screwdriver, just take it easy. So that feels nice and firm. Okay, the next thing we're going to introduce the toe. So what we've got to do is slide the toe over the top of the locking screw and slide it backwards. So this is just going to go in place and we have two screws at the back here. So we're going to mount these, screw them in and then we slide everything back and use the, the, the final two screws. So again, just down here. I like to use a little bit of pressure on each one, not screw them in all the way straight away. Let's get them nice and firm, nice and firm, and then double check, double check. Okay, so now push down on here and slide the whole binding back. So these two screws now are invisible. The toe piece now is locked onto the middle locking screw, and we have two more screws under the toe, and then the toe is secure in place and then we're going to do the same with the heel piece. Now the, the rear part of the binding is in place. I'm just going to connect the brake to the actual heel piece. There's two little holes here and two lugs. It's a little bit fiddly, but it just slides into place and then clicks in. So that is now into position. And then we slide the heel piece on. So this is just going to drop onto the ski and then I'm going to slide it back until it meets this screw thread here. Okay, that's now met. Now with this, We've got to get the um, screw thread to engage with the heel piece. So I'm going to give it a little turn to engage it, and then we're going to screw it backwards. So a little bit of pressure at the front here, screw that in to engage, and then start bringing the whole lot back. Now, if you look down here, you see the binding moving backwards, and we're going to bring it quite far back, and then we'll start looking at introducing the ski boot. Now, the binding's roughly in place, we're going to do some fine tuning to make sure everything's lined up correctly. So first of all, we're going to introduce the boot, so toe in and heel, and then we have a forward pressure indicator at the back. So in here, 
there's little metal plate. At the moment, there's too much forward pressure. So I'm gonna just use the little screwdriver and just wind that out a little bit. And you can see the little metal plate starting to come out. And we are now just about at the right pressure. This will have to be double checked in again in a moment. And then coming over to the toe, if you look down here, we have the AFD plate. So this needs to have a little bit of freedom. At the moment, that's a bit too tight. So I'm gonna adjust here, but first of all, I'll get a little tool to give us a hand. The next stage to check is the toe height adjustment. Um, these are what we call MNC bindings. So these will adapt to much just about every sort of um, Alpine or hybrid boot on the market. With the Salomon um, binding, you get an instruction manual and you have this little tag here that you can cut out. So effectively, it's just a piece of paper that we fold in half. We place that on the AFD device here. This will slide out and hopefully cut down on friction when you fold. This is gonna sit on here and we want a little bit of clearance, but we do want a little bit of resistance when we try and remove this paper so the boots don't rattle around. So I'm just gonna put the boot in place. So it's in there now. I'm just gonna give this paper a little tug. So now it will move, but there's quite a lot of resistance. So I'm just gonna adjust this. So now this is moving quite freely and that comes away. So I'm quite happy now that we've got a nice close fit but the toe is not going to wobble about. So again, just double check. So this is now moving and coming out okay. So lastly, I'm going to just go back to the binding because we've been playing about here. Make sure nothing bad's happened at the back here. I'm checking in the back here. The forward pressure is correct. So effectively between the toe and the heel, that is good. The next thing we need to do is set the DIN, which is the release, which is marked on the toe piece and the heel piece. And that's set by the individual skier's height, weight, boot sole millimeter length and skiing ability. The sole length is engraved on the ski boot. So you see this boot is a size 27 slash 27.5. It's not the millimetre length. That will be engraved, if you can zoom in here, at 316 millimetres. That is the key for when you're setting your DIN settings. So we've got the toe height adjustment. We've got the forward pressure. We set the DIN release, and then we're going to have a look at the adjustments within the binding. So effectively, we now have a downhill binding. So this will have a DIN release. This will work as an off-piece, but... This type of binding is designed for hiking up the mountain as well. So it's a very quick and easy adjustment. So firstly, what we do is we lift the brakes up. Now, if you're on snow, that will automatically happen. Then we have a lever here to ski. We pull this back like so into walk and the brakes are now held. Then at the toe piece to release the lugs, we push this forward. You introduce the toe piece like so. It's much easier when you're wearing the boots. And then we have the free heel mode. So position one, like so, or if you're going up a steeper gradient, we pull this up to give us more adjustment. We can lock the toe piece down as well by pulling this lever up, or when you want to step out, you push the lever down and then the boot will come free. For then normal skiing, we just lock the toe piece up here, pull the lever forward, and we're ready for alpine downhill skiing. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, any questions, please comment at the bottom and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.